Are y'all ready to break some stuff? We're doing a hard drive head replacement. Hey, hey, y'all. So the intro said it all. You're going to do a hard drive replacement. And the chances are, we just might break some stuff. And I had no idea how right I was. I started off very optimistic. I watched all the YouTube videos, bought all the tools, and even had a perfect donor drive match. But it was stressful. Any small wrong movement meant destruction. The first drive I opened was the drive that I was trying to rescue data from. But once open, it became evident that the platter was massively damaged and that recovery was going to be difficult. It took some patience, but I successfully removed the hard drive head and placed it to the side. I spent extra time practicing using the comb heads with the old head. If I misplaced the comb heads on the new head, the entire hard drive swap would have been dead in the water. So I practiced with the old head until I felt comfortable. So I popped open the new hard drive and removed the head connector. Since I was concerned about not damaging the read-write arms, I decided to put in the comb as early as possible. Putting in the comb was quite tedious and nerve-wracking, so I took a break and returned with some liquid courage. After an hour and a half, I finally arrived at the moment of truth. I slowly moved the pristine hard drive head from the new hard drive and gently placed it into the recovery drive. The last hurdle to overcome was placing the read-write arms gently into their resting place while removing the comb. Once the backstops were in place and the comb was removed, I could begin putting the hard drives back together. With the hard drive put back together, there was only one thing left to do. Is it doing anything? Oh! Oh, no. Nope, that's, that's still me. There's nothing new. No. ends up that the platter was so damaged that not even a new drive head could read it. Although I could not retrieve the data, I was very excited that I was able to attempt recovering the data, and I can proudly state that I successfully performed a drive header swap, even if the information was ultimately beyond recovery.